It's a beautiful day in the QuickBook space. A beautiful day in your business place. It's your bottom line, money and time. Since we're together, we might as well say, won't you be my QuickBooks neighbor? Welcome back to our next episode of QuickBooks and More. My name is Beverly Lang, and I get asked constantly, how do I void a check in QuickBooks? So today I'm going to show you. Let's take a look. So in QuickBooks online, you would go up to your check. This is going to bring up the check window. If you use this back arrow, this is going to allow you to see the last few checks you have written. If you need to see more, hit the view more. And let's go find the check we're looking for. So we're looking for this check here for Tony for $100. And when the check comes up, I'm going to use the more down here in the bottom and I'm going to hit void. When I hit void, it's going to ask me, are you sure this is what you want to do? As long as you're certain, go ahead and hit yes. And now that check has been successfully voided. You'll see that the dollar amount has turned to zero and the memo says voided. One quick tip that I do want to give you is under here is the delete. Don't delete anything. Delete is such a bad word in the accounting industry. Void something or ask your accountant how to reverse it. But if you delete it, it's gone and there's no way for us to put it back the way it was originally. So just keep that in mind. Void, don't delete. Look forward to seeing you next time when we talk about how to do a reconciliation in QuickBooks Online.